Wen, is this yours? Oh, my bag of components. Thank you, dear. I was wondering where it got to. You left it by the fire at camp. Oh, yes. I remember now. How age creeps up on you and brings with it forgetfulness. You're a great mage, Wen. And you're sharper and wiser than many people I know. Some young ones, too. Oh, but you should have seen me 15, 20 years ago. The fires have dimmed somewhat since then. But thank you, Liliana, for picking up after this old lady. Ah, oh, it's sort of like coming home again. But with more undead. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. <gasps> Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will... Distract whatever evil is inside, and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck.
I locked myself in a cave. <laughs> Anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son Connor. Until they uh, threw me into the dungeon here. No, I. I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. Ah, I thought you looked familiar. I had thought you... dead. Hunted down by the Templars. I guess you might have been told that. I was in hiding when I was caught. But instead of killing me, Loghain made me an offer. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Jowan has good intentions, but a blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. I... Well, I'd try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. I'm glad you think so. So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow.
Valena, the Arlesa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters! I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. And I'm off. I think so. Not happening.
Yes. What's next? You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is just a man, Connor. Like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, he's nothing at all like father. Look at him, breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that, my new. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor? Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Make us breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. I wish I could say the same! Wait! No, I don't. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! 
Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? I'm not finished playing. You can't make me stop. I think it's trying to spoil my fun, Mother. I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Let's wipe them out quickly. Yes. You are off our hands. Now we're going to bed. now, I think. <laughs> my mind is my own again. Blessed Andras, too. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry, I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help, not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... Coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... Oh, perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. 
We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So... someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. I agree. And I offer my own life. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? Give him access to such power, and who knows what he shall do? I am uneasy. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Indeed. It should not be difficult to get what is needed, provided we have the time. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them.
Now let's do see. Which one first? I... oh... oh... I rather thought I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. So would I be in your shoes. For me, however, it sets a rather poor precedent, doesn't it? Getting captured by a target seems a tad detrimental to one's budding assassin career. I can tell you that. There are an order of assassins out of Antiva. Very powerful, and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Oh, fine. Is that what you Fereldens do? Mock your prisoners? <laughs> Such cruelty. Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Oh, well, that's between Logan and the crows, and between the crows and myself. Isn't that what we're establishing now? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men, whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. You seem like a bright lad. I'm sure you have other options. <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely.
Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Hmm. All right. All right. I see your point. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the Circle is well on its way to recovery. The child is possessed, but killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes, yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake.
The mages wait to perform the ritual. I do hope. Ah, there you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes, we haven't sufficient Lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? Me? Confront the demon? Uh, this is a lot to ask. I suppose I do, at that. So be it. I shall confront this demon myself. Let us begin at once. Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. You are in the fate, good man. A demon has you trapped here. But is my son in danger? He is, but I will do my best to see that all of us emerge from this unscathed. Trust me, my Aura. I should trust you. I should... But I can never find him in this fog. You must find Connor. Please, I beg you. Connor? Is that... Are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. Tell me where the demon is, child. I will end this. Fool! You won't get me out. I won't let you. hurting me why are you trying to stop me please child listen to me I am here to help you I will not speak with you trespasser I will drive you out
Father Wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Because you have taken a child, demon. Our world is not your world. Surely you must realize this by now. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. You can never resist me! Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I demand that you release the boy at once, foul spirit! Release him? Do not be foolish, old man. This is my place of power. I do as I wish here. Truly, is there no room for negotiation? Let us speak, human. Surely there is something you desire. Hmm? You think me a fool? There is nothing I wish from the likes of you! Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Very well. It is perhaps. I. You.
So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again, for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. But perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. <laughs>